This is a short four-minute video to explain to you how to get the most out of these remarkable, revolutionary sea leaf detection wipes. This is the only product in the world that will help you figure out if something is poison ivy or oak or sumac. I'm demonstrating by taking an early spring vine and cutting a notch out of it. And pretty soon you wait just a few minutes and you get a whole bunch of the oil containing the nasty irritants, the Arushio oil. Now you take one of these wipes and you touch it. Now I'm, you got to wear gloves to do this. And sure enough, it turns a bright pinkish purple. And so that's a clear sign that that is one of those three nasty plants, poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. Now, but this is very important. If you come back later, this is two weeks later, that is dried out. Now I'm using my bare hand, which is stupid. But anyway, you'll notice that you get a dark mark, but you don't get the obvious pink and purple. So it's important to realize that you need fresh oil. Now here I've taken a fresh poison ivy leaf. This is what I think most people would end up doing, crushing the leaf, but you got to crush it really well. And when you do crush it, you get pink spots. Not a lot, because this particular plant didn't have a lot of loose oil, but you definitely have the pink spots. Now this is important. You cannot just take these detection wipes and rub on the bark, because you won't get a reaction. There's no oil on the surface of the bark, so you don't get a reaction. That simply won't work. That's why earlier I cut into the bark. Now, if we go up a little higher in the same plant and we look at these little flower buds, this is going to be a flower, we crush them, and you crush them really hard. Then when we open up the wipe, you'll see very, very quickly that a bright pink-purple, you see that spot, that indicates that there's a ruchol. So this must be poison ivy or one of those three kinds of plants. What happens if it's not poison ivy or poison oak or sumac? What if it's just some other tree? Well, we're going to take a little slice out of this little innocent tree right here, and then we're going to wait a few minutes and come back. Now, even after five minutes, very little sap has showed up, but even so, you'd expect to see something. And this uh, detection wipe comes out just clean as a whistle. There's no pink whatsoever. So this thing is not one of the three. Now this is a typical little plant. Somebody might wonder if it's poison ivy. And so you do the same thing. You crush it really hard to release the oil, whatever the sap is in the plant. Now when I open this guy up, what you'll see is a lot of green, but absolutely no pink whatsoever. So it's not toxicodendron, not one of the three. Now, Let's try one more thing, and this is really important. I happened on this little poison ivy plant, and I squeezed it, but I didn't squeeze it hard enough. So you'll see, when I open this up, I get very, very little reaction, just a few little pink spots. That's because I didn't squeeze it hard enough. Now here, we have another example. This is a little maple tree, and the reason I'm pointing this out is that the, the redness of the leaf should not be confused with the pink reaction. So just to cap it off, if you can get a lot of oil out of the vine, you're going to get a clear-cut reaction that's unmistakable. And there's no other product in the world that can tell you this. So we have these for sale. And as long as you are kind of careful how you use them, I don't want you to brush something and think it's safe and then find out later that it wasn't. And when you're done, wash your hands and wash your gloves and wash everything because releasing that oil, that's how you get the rash. Come visit us at poison-iv.org.